Forces can have one of four effects on an object. They can either speed it up, slow it down, make it change direction, or change shape. Now just because an object's not doing any of those four things doesn't mean to say that no forces are acting on it. There are forces, at this moment, acting on the ball. The weight of the ball is acting downwards and my hand is balancing the weight by pushing upwards. We say the forces are balanced. If I pull my hand away, the forces are no longer balanced and the ball moves. I've stretched a piece of rubber over this tripod stand. When I place the large weight on top of the rubber, you can see that the rubber deforms until the elastic force pulling upwards exactly balances the weight of the object acting downwards due to gravity. When I place the weight on top of this wooden board, nothing seems to happen. The board does, however, deform only just by a very small amount just enough so that the elastic force produced by the deformation exactly balances again the weight of the object acting downwards due to gravity. Likewise, in order for this ping pong ball to float on the water, the forces acting on it must be balanced. The weight acting downwards due to gravity must be exactly balanced by the upthrust acting in the opposite direction. If these forces were not balanced, then the ping pong ball would either sink or jump out of the water. No forces appear to be acting on the cotton reel. It's just sitting there doing nothing. There are forces, however. The force of gravity is pulling it down the slope. But this is balanced by an important reactive force called friction acting in the opposite direction. I can easily change the dynamics of the situation by turning the reel on its side. This reduces the surface area in contact with the ramp. The reel can no longer provide the friction to balance the gravity pulling it downwards. The forces are no longer balanced and the reel starts to move. These neodymium magnets are able to float in the tube, motionless, because the strong magnetic force produced by this type of magnet balances the weight of the magnet acting downwards. If you add an iron object like this paper clip to water it always sinks because the density of iron is over seven times greater than that of water. Iron objects are simply not able to produce the upthrust to balance the weight. You can however, if you're very very careful, make an iron paper clip float on water. As I gently lower this paper clip and position it on the surface of the water you can notice that the surface actually deforms. An elastic like force holds the surface of the water together. It's called the surface tension. The surface tension just balances the weight of the paper clip acting downwards.